crafting with Crystal. Today is going to be such a fun day. Wait, something's missing. Ah! All right, so today we're crafting with Chase and Jill. And my craft room is way too small to hold all this fabulousness. So we're going to have to move. You guys ready to move? Yes. Let's move. Okay. Okay. We're here. We're here. So, <laughs> okay, let's get to crafting. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with a fun project. It's called the Heart Caterpillar. So we have a whole bunch of hearts, and it's going to be so cool. So Jail and Chase are going to write their names on one letter per heart. So now we're going to decorate the face of your caterpillar. So now it's a caterpillar, right? So you can either do it funky like this or straight like how Chase has done it like that. So it's however you want to do it. So this is a glue pen. I'm going to give it to you, Jail. So you put a dot. And then you can put it down like this, right? All right. Now, remember I told you, you're going to try to make all caterpillars stand up. To make the legs, you're going to bend them like this together. And then take one and put it to the back. So then you make like its legs, right? So it stands like this. Jail is going to stick them together for me from back to back like this. And we're going to take the legs and put a little dot here on the first one. And then put the legs a dot and maybe not the last one like the second to last one right and let's test this so I'm gonna take some more glue and I'm gonna take another heart and I'm gonna close the the hearts for the legs so that we have it stuck down really really well so look at Chase's own now let's see if our test for standing up would work yay <laughs> so we have a standing let's see if Jail's one works all right so we got them both to stand up oh my gosh this is so cool so we have a little name caterpillar stands and you can put it on your chest of drawers at home so we've cut out a whole bunch of hearts and it's double hearts so you take a heart shape you cut out the outside and then you take another heart shape and you cut out the inside what we're gonna do is make an interlocking heart garland right so what do you do you hold it like this and you cut the bottom here only right and then we're going to take all the hearts and do that so let's open all the hearts now that we have all of our hearts cut we're gonna link all the hearts so how do you do that you pass one through the other one like this see to close the hearts tape them shut The third craft is a stem craft, right? You're going to build a heart structure out of paper. So you take one of these, fold it in half, make sure it's creased good here. Take a bone folder or ruler because not everyone has a bone folder. And you're holding paper like this, you're holding this like this, and you're going to curl the paper, you see? So I'm going to let JL try it. And JL is going to curl the paper on screen for me. So come here and curl it. Right, so you see, it's really easy. Even a child can do it. Then we're gonna take the paper and we're gonna create a heart. So you're gonna put it down, put a line of glue, stick this like this, right? Make sure it's stuck and then pinch this. And you get a heart. And to make this stick down, we're gonna grab two close mini close clips so if you have paper clips this will also work because not everyone will have mini close clips we're going to make a heart like this out of all of these sizes so we have all sizes already pre-made to create your heart for you all right let's get started So it's 
stands up and it's a really cool structure and we've made another one so this is another one that we've made it's proper 3d look at those look how cool that is you see this is freestanding it is so cool what we're we gonna do next we're gonna create a heart garland right or a heart banner and we've made holes in them i'm going to show you how to make equal holes on each side so the first thing you do is you take um a hole punch so you can use any hole punch i'm just using this one and you find where you want the hole to be and you make it right and then you take another heart and you line it up in the heart like this so you get the hole punched in the exact location punch it then I'm going to turn this one over so that I punch this side and punch this side. So I'm going to do this and punch this side here. And then I'm going to turn it over and punch this side over here like this. And now we have perfect holes on the same side of the paper. And we have started the garland for you. And we're going to go in with our with our string and come back out and now we have a gorgeous um heart banner that you can put anywhere in your house and look it looks so cute you could write things on these hearts like maybe the names of your family members they're so i mean it's so cool right so that's that's this one Let's move on to our heart wreath, right? So to make this heart wreath, you need a whole bunch of hearts, just like we made the hearts with the, um, with the stem project. However, you need all the hearts to be the same size. So all these hearts are made with paper that is 11 inches long by one inch wide. And what we're gonna do, because it's a wreath, and it's going to be a circle we want it to be like this and we're going to make it just like that in a circle so you're going to put a take your glue put a dot of glue join it a dot of glue join it this is what we have done see that so it's a proper wreath it holds up really well and there's a string that you could hang it above your door you see and it is so nice and that is pretty much it okay guys so we're gonna continue we're now gonna make a hot flower and we're gonna each take two whites a pink and a red all right so jill is gonna make her own hair and i'm gonna make my own hair You can put some leaves if you want to and make it real fancy let's see yours gel you see and this is a different so this is with the petals touching which looks really nice this looks more like a complete flower and marion has the petals not touching you see
much for watching. You guys had fun? Yeah. Yes? You should. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel if you like your content. And stay crafty, my friends. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs>